surprise everyone. Good. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> you ready for this? As ready as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Education is the most powerful weapon with which you can change the world. Nelson Mandela. Through what I learn, I will be able to make a difference in life. I am ready to graduate. I have come to understand everything I need to receive this piece of paper stating that I have mastered the skills we were meant to learn in high school. I came into this world by a 19-year-old girl who I resemble greatly. She knew she was incapable of giving me the opportunity to the life I deserved. Knowingly, she gave me away to the beautiful family I have known my whole life. My mother, Dana, carried me in her heart for nine months as my birth mother carried me in her womb. My brother, Jonathan, was adopted as well. He wanted a baby sister for a long time. I came along and completed the family. My father is the most loving, caring man I have ever even imagined. He has always been around to care for his family. This is my family. Sounds something like a fairy tale, right? My mother has been a great influence to me. She is always calm. She has steadily shown her love for me. She reminds me of this by repeating this quote. There is nothing you could ever do to make me love you more. There is nothing you could ever do to make me love you less. Although I am not this woman's blood, I am, always have, and always will be her child. No person in this world will ever take the place of my mother that adopted me. I was placed into kindergarten at Crown Point Academy. I attended this school through sixth grade. Little did I know I would be graduating high school yards away from the place I began my education. My elementary days were easy. I felt safe. I did well in school and well at home. I learned many things and I was quite involved with school. Middle school, things began to change. I moved schools for the first time. I was nervous and I was awkward. I didn't know my way around. It was quite the experience. As the years went on, I became used to going to a new school every year. I found it easy to make friends, the wrong ones. I spent a lot of time doing things I shouldn't have. I was experiencing the bad side of people for the first time in my life. My grades dropped. Things at home became rough. What was the solution? Boarding school. Boys Ranch, Texas is where I spent the most memorable year of my life. I lived and attended school there. I resided in a house with 11 other girls my age. I went to school two blocks from my house. My second freshman year was lived out here. I was able to get my grades up and I was taught how to make better choices. I was able to deal with authority issues and grow up quite a lot. I made tons of friends, many of which I still keep in touch with. I enjoyed my year at boarding school. I don't regret attending there one bit. I did, it did nothing but help me, although at times I was very homesick. That was one of my favorite learning experiences. After boarding school, I was gifted with the opportunity to attend Hidden Lake two years in a row. I've grown incredible amounts over this journey through high school. I'm becoming an adult. Graduation is here now and I can see the progress I have made. Graduating is the greatest accomplishment I will have made so far. It has been difficult. I have struggled with people telling me I can't and failing class after class. There was a period of time when I felt incapable. I became discouraged and I gave up for a while. I had lost faith in myself. I overcame all of that. I began to find solutions to my struggles. I became determined and at that point I knew I had grown up a lot. I began doing my work on time, being responsible, and asking for help when it became necessary. It, I learned how to discipline myself. It taught me delayed gratification. Seeing passing grades was well worth the wait. That helped me realize what I was capable of when I was able to see the missing credits appear. I have learned how to work with others. I am capable of leading and being led. Working in teams comes naturally to me now. I have become a good worker. I have the motivation to complete tasks in a timely manner and do them correctly. I stick through things till they are finished. I am responsible as a citizen. I have enough self-control to obey laws and be responsible. I know better than to get myself in trouble. Communicational skills are something I have mastered. I can talk to people of all sorts and know how to be appropriate and comfortable. These skills, I would have to say, may be even more valuable than the academic material I have learned. Math has always been a struggle for me. The past school year, I have been able to overcome that. 
I have made up my credits and been dedicated to completing the course. I am happy to have been able to motivate myself enough to stick through it. As I have grown, I have learned many things. Critical thinking is another skill I have obtained in this journey. I am able to find solutions to unfavorable situations. Solving problems creatively is one of the most useful things I have learned. Although math has been dreadful for me, I have enjoyed my other courses. Science has been one of my favorites. I have been able to apply a lot of what I have learned in that class to real life situations. I think that's why I have enjoyed it so much. A lot of the material was something I was interested in. I always wanted to know more. Even things I learned from years past, I still remember and use. The only difficulty this class brought me was turning things in on time. Learning to be an adult and do things in a timely manner took me a while to learn. My English classes have taught me a lot. They have kept me busy and interested. These are the classes I've had to be responsible for. The fact that they require work outside of school has been difficult for me. This class has introduced me to a lot of new technology. We worked a lot with the Kindle Fire tablet, and I once even completed a paper off my cell phone. <laughs> I've been able to work with these things and learn about them, and I'm grateful I've had that opportunity. As for history, it's kept me entertained. I've learned more about history this year than in all of my schooling before. I was allowed to work in groups and learn in a way that helped me keep up. I've learned a lot the past few years. I went from child to adult. I learned that people don't decide what I'm capable of. Just because someone tells me I can't, doesn't mean it's true. I now can decide when it's worth it to speak up and when it will just get me in trouble. There's a fine line. I can choose what's worth the fight now. I understand what determination is. I know what it feels like to work and struggle for something I want. I'm worthy of this diploma. I have been taught the importance of being dependable. I have proven that I have the ability to master anything I set my mind to. I know how to learn. I can study. I know better than to give up. I know when and where to ask for help. I am ready for the real world. As for right now, I am just beginning my life. Even though this is just my starting point, I have a clear vision of the future. I have high expectations of where I would like to be later in my life. I have dreams of working in a salon. One day I would like to own one. I plan to begin my career in cosmetology and get experience in the real world. After that, my plan is to attend business school so that I'm capable of running my salon. By this time, I plan to have my own house, a nice car, and a stable life. Working in the field of cosmetology will allow me many opportunities to learn about people. As I build clientele, I will be able to build knowledge about all kinds of people. Connections will be created and relationships will be built. I look forward to this tremendously. That is a part of how I want my world. As I enter the world, I will have the ability to influence it. If I can make a great impact on it, there are many things I would do. Safety is a big desire of mine. I would love to be able to have children and allow them to run around the neighborhood and not worry, regardless of if it was day or night. I would not want to have to lock my doors in fear that someone would come in and steal my things. I would want to help build a community that was close and took care of each other. A safe pocket in this world, a place we didn't have to be in fear. People would get along and have better ways to handle conflict than violence. I've heard of times when children were able to wander without precaution, before cell phones and the internet, before crime was a big issue. Maybe if we as a community were to group together and fight to get that comfort back, we could. This is something I cannot do alone. I would like to experience a comfortable home. I don't want to worry or live paycheck to paycheck. There are luxuries I'd like to enjoy. To accomplish that, I will continue my education so I have the opportunity to obtain a stable job. By doing this, my paychecks will be enough for me to live. I will push myself to excel in my career, to make a name for myself. A life like this would be near perfection from my eyes. Now you know my story. You know some of my struggle. You know more about who I am as an individual. I have shown you my goals for the future and what I expect from myself. I ask that you all continue to support me and encourage me. I hope you all agree I am ready for bigger things.